Hey guys, before this video starts, I want to give a quick shout out to this server. The IP is play.craftedraids.net. Everything will be down below in the description. They got really cool things like custom plugins, custom maps, casinos, custom bosses, and really a lot of work has been put into the server. I suggest you all go check it out at the end of this video. If you guys do, let me know in the comment sections. And also, you guys may catch me on that server here and there. I'll be checking it out, playing along. If you guys are there, make sure to say hi. Other than that, enjoy today's video. Peace out. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead Survival Let's Play. This is episode 5 um, and I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been showing me all the support on this series. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, without further ado, I know a lot of you guys have been saying in the comment sections that you guys have been having issues uh, with the Crafting Dead mod yourselves. With the aftermath updates and all that stuff and the world is not spawning and all those types of issues that I've had in the past and uh, I haven't experienced so far currently. Uh, but what I'm gonna do for you guys because I know a lot of you guys want to you know get a chance to play the crafting dead as well on a single player world I'm gonna try and find out talk to Andrew the owner of the mod pack and see what's up what's going on if if things are um, Changing um, any information that's needed for you guys so you guys can get an idea of how to get the crafting dead single player world up and running So I will do that for you guys episode 6 if you guys don't mind, if you guys can hit that like button, that will be amazing. If we can go for 200 likes, I'd appreciate that, guys, a lot. I apologize for the inconsistent uploads lately. I've been super busy uh, with a lot of things, so um, I apologize about that. So, without further ado, let's get started in today's episode, because I know you guys are have been waiting for The Crafting Dead, and also for the Fear of the Crafting Dead, which... It's, it's something I'm going to talk about, um, not in today's episode, but um, in next few episodes I don't know yet exactly uh, so my idea is first of all obviously I'm, I'm gonna point out one big feature that I don't really like right now um, and that's the tree farm on the roof I don't find that convenient anymore I find it to be kind of really um, you know kind of like a joke it, it, it's really not possible I mean you could have a tree on a, on a roof but really that doesn't make sense for me right now so I'm thinking of actually upgrading that and putting it into the courtyard over here that we have for the with the cows at the farm and everything I think it will be a great idea it'll also add a little bit more of a, a design appeal to it but yeah guys also I wanted to say something uh, if you guys don't know this prison cell has been kind of just sitting around over there for a while now not doing anything and we obviously have one right there. We kind of upgraded that. We kind of worked on it. Still not done, but we're going to do some more work on it. If you guys have any ideas of what I should do with that, let me know. But that place over there, what I want to do is actually uh, pretty much have a tunnel instead of another uh, walkway. I want to have a tunnel going underground connecting to that place. Now, as for what I have in mind to do with that building over there, I have no idea. And that's why I'm giving this um, up to you guys. You guys are going to decide what this sh building should be be pretty much I'm gonna read the comments I'm gonna find out what you guys really really want to see and and the one that stands out to me the most is going to be something we're gonna work out on uh, the next few episodes so I'm excited to see what you guys have to suggest for that make sure it's something you know realistic uh, something that I can build don't say like uh, I don't know like a I don't know I have no idea just don't say something ridiculous that's gonna be impossible to build something that would make sense for a post-apocalyptic world so let's see what supplies we got here also another thing i want to mention uh, i've been having slight issues with supplies now this has been an update it's 1.1.4 now i don't know what's in the update i have to read about it don't have time right now but when i do i want to check it out a bit more and see what's up with that because i still don't really know what's been updated and if anything i really want to know if supplies are going to spawn again because if that's not going to happen then that's going to be an issue for us uh, most certainly so uh, I want to show you guys where I want to build this underground tunnel now as you guys all know The prison. Oh, what's this? What's this another empty water or canteen the prison is down there now what I wanted to do was to actually have our um, Kind of like tunnel going from this area right here um, And in general maybe just make a pathway right here and just go straight down to the uh, prison down there so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get some supplies we're gonna go to the prison area first and we're gonna start our adventures on that side because that way um, it's just gonna be easier for me to find you know where we're gonna build a connection portal area whatever you guys want to call it it's really not a portal or a connection area it's just an underground tunnel <laughs> so uh, let's see we got we got some stuff here pretty much don't need too much stuff to be honest for this tunnel expedition that we're going to be doing so um hmm, i don't think we need anything else we have plenty of supplies on us if anything we're fine we've got water uh we have 
we need a can opener for sure. So let's do this right now. Let's grab this can opener, get this food open. Um, and I think other than that, we're good. We're good. I do have some ammo on me. I'm just going to store it up here just so I don't lose it. Um, I don't really find anything convenient about having things on here that are not needed for us at the moment. So we're going to store everything else that we don't need currently. I'm going to take some of the stone slabs just in case we run into any issues. But I really doubt we're going to run into any issues right now. So we're going to make our way down to the dangerous prison. This is where we got infected so many times. How are you doing, cows? I think they're doing good. Uh, oh, what's this? This is a decoy grenade. Oh, yes. This is great. Okay, cool. So this is something new to the Aftermath update. I believe they took it from the Countercraft. I'm not entirely sure, but I know it's something around that. We're not going to use it because it's quite deadly. Um, at least um, it, is, it does say decoy, but I'm more than sure it's, it's going to have some effect. So I don't want to really get into that yet. Now, this is the place I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. This is the area I want to kind of uh, control and take over. Uh, this place used to be... Um, I believe a starter area for me, so it, it's really not far-fetched um, From what I remember, so I think this is not bad at all for an area to work with obviously there's gonna be a lot of uh, Remodifications to it is gonna be a big upgrade. That's all I can say. It's not gonna look like this So that's why um, I need your advice on what we should do for building now as you guys can see down here This was a tunnel I had worked on I think it was like only Two episodes into the first ever season one. And I just stopped working on it. I didn't know why. I didn't know why I did that. I don't know what was my thinking behind it. But all I know was that I had an idea to make a tunnel. So that's why I had the inspiration to kind of work on that again. So we have ourselves the main base down there. I think it's fair to say it'd be kind of cool to have um, the stairways going down here. And then pretty much it'll connect straight down to our tunnel that we're gonna make now i just realized we're probably gonna need a shovel more than anything so oh i guess this is a spawner area oh it's not breaking so that's an area for spawned loot to pop out oh okay that's that's not convenient at all so let's just leave this how it is let's take this block here and place it up oh no not like that we're gonna place it up there um i guess i guess i guess i guess let's see let's see let's see I mean, if anything, we could make it right here. Yeah, let's do it right here, actually. But I just realized we really do need a shovel. So we're going to go make ourselves a shovel, and we'll be back on our way. Now, I don't know how long this episode is going to go for. I, I I certainly don't want it to be too long. I kind of want it to stay around my normal length. So it, there might not be a lot of progress in today's episode, but for sure we have a lot of plans. So that's going to give us a lot of stuff to work on in the future episodes. What's this? That's a Bowie knife. Definitely going to be good. It's better than the uh, bow staff. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So let's get ourselves some iron, uh, make ourselves some shovels. We got plenty of iron in here, so that's nothing to worry about. All right, let's get this up in there. Perfect. And, uh, as for where is this stuff? We need uh, a stick. We have plenty of wood, I realized too. So we're going to get this set up and put that perfect. Perfect. Now we're going to get a shovel. We'll be good with the shovel actually. Um, I don't think we need, yeah, a shovel's good. I don't know if we need two shovels. I was just thinking about that. Would we need two shovels? I'm not sure. I mean, we could just do an extra one. I mean, we have plenty of iron anyway, so it's not a big deal. I would actually assume that making another axe would be perfect, or a pickaxe. So let's do that as well in the meanwhile. Um, get our supplies up and dandy here. Um, let's see, anything else? Um, probably not. All right, let's just get a juice pouch. Let's get out of here now. Uh, we still don't have a bed, which is surprising because uh, there's a lot of walkers in the night. And that guy just did... What is this? What? Are they just found a way in my base? Is this... Is this possible? No. Why are they all jumping? I just realized they're all jumping. Why are you jumping? Hey, food. Okay. One hit you. Okay, that's good. I don't know why they're jumping there. I think they're trying to break in, which is not a good sign. But again, I'm not too worried about that because I have full confidence in my base. It's a good base. I know it's it's safe, but the spawning issues is what's causing all of this chaos right now. So that's the main issue. Uh, what's this? Fireman's hat. I don't need that. There's so many fireman's hats. All right, so what I want to do is obviously kind of have a pathway here. So we're just going to do two paths here. And we're going to make it easy for ourselves and make it less of a, of a dugout, if that makes any sense. I don't want to dig too much here. I just want to make a straight path. It might twist and turn. Uh, here and there, but you know, I kind of just want to keep it very simple because I know we're not going to have a lot so I'm going to have to pump up the brightness here because you guys are not going to be able to see anything I do if I don't have brightness on 
Um, especially for these bits. So let's just dig as much as we can here. We're gonna have to go down a few levels because I don't want to, you know, kind of get to the point where I'm hitting an area where I am back at the top of the surface. I kind of want to make sure I have enough depth down in the tunnels and then we'll be able to kind of um, go up and, and see how far we can get out there. So let's see. Now, this tunnel is not, it's, it's, it's fine. The location is fine because I can't really do it anywhere else. This area, I have a spawner there. Oh, another melee weapon. Uh, that's good. So if we go straight, I think we'll do that. We'll go straight. And now we'll just dig out straight. Oh, there's gravel. This is not good. Actually, it's not a lot. Okay, it's not a big deal. All right, where is there? More gravel here. This is a good thing we got a shovel, though, because we needed this for sure. So I'm just going to dig straight. Um, and I will uh, stop when we get half of the progress done. We'll be back in a few. All right, guys. So I just finished digging out most of the tunnel. It's pretty much all complete. Um, besides the design aspects of it, as you guys all know, that's gonna take some time. But as you guys can see, um, this place is turning out pretty cool. We're gonna go down here, and uh, it's really just a basic structure. Now, the cool part, I actually ran into pretty much like, it's almost like a mine, but it's really not. It's just an open area that you guys would all see when you're mining. And also, over here, oh, no, 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 no. This is gonna have to be blocked off right away. They cannot get in here. This is bad. Okay, so this area is dangerous because uh, we're going to have to block it off. In general, we're just going to have to block it off and make sure none of these uh, zombies can get in here. Uh, but other than that, you know, this is actually really unique because I wasn't expecting to have such an open space here. Just kind of like just hanging around underground. So uh, with that being said, this could be a perfect area just to do some more builds, more unique ideas. So if you guys can let me know in the comment sections what I should do with this area, that would be wonderful. Because um, there could be so many things we can try to do with it. We can build um, a, a, like a bomb shelter room or like a... Just another shelter room of some sorts or a survivor room for like people to get like some supplies. I don't know. Just something like it just in case. I don't know. Just give me some ideas. And also you guys have been saying in the comment sections that I should have some people get onto the server and stuff like that. Well, this is a single player uh, server. It's not technically an open LAN or things like that. It's pretty much just my server. No one can join it and that's it. But... Maybe I can kind of find a way to, to upload this world onto a server and have some people hop in and here just like a su survivor But that's something that's too complex for me to do at the current moment. So don't expect that to happen anytime soon uh, I just wanted to point that out just in case I don't get any more of those comments So you guys kind of get that but another cool thing was over here was just a pretty much another tunnel area And then all I oh my goodness. No. Oh, no, 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 no all right, there are walkers all over the place here, guys. I don't like this. So we're going to have to put a lot of uh, a lot of light around here, even though that doesn't stop them at all. Slabs does help. It does help, but these guys are never going to get to us like this. Bam. So they won't get to us. Uh, we'll find there. And also, over here is just the last little bits of areas that kind of lead up to the, the pretty much the basement, our storage room. Look at this, guys. It's like actually perfection. It's just what I wanted. It's symmetrical here three and three it's just perfect everything turned out to be perfect even though it took me a lot of time to, to look at all this this is ridiculous a lot of supplies which is good and we have a lot of coal here so we're gonna grab some because we all know know that uh finding torches has been pretty much a hassle for us so we're gonna have to make sure we get a lot of this because it's been a big hassle finding all this coal for torches and ugh, it's just not been a fun time so, uh, let's see. Anything else? Let's see. let's see what else there is. A little bit of coal here. We're going to grab some. We pretty much finished up our main objective in today's episode, which is surprising because, as you guys all know, sometimes I end up doing, like, not much in an episode and I keep talking and rambling. But I decided doing a cutscene like how I did today's episode helps out to get a lot of the work done. Um, and that helps out to get a lot of progress done. And a lot of you guys like to see that. A lot of you guys like that a lot. And also, you guys like for me to go off and explore and things like that so that's stuff we're gonna try to do but I just didn't want to risk it in today's episode because I know and I feel like most of the supplies that are out there right now like the loot is not spawning I just have a gut feeling so I don't want to waste time and go looking around and finding nothing um, so that's why I decided just to do some work here and I think this is just much more productive for us and we definitely got a lot of work done in general so let's just uh, fill up this side here just so it looks good obviously we're not gonna be using all of these uh, you know it's it looks ugly right now of course but we're gonna work on it we're gonna get a cool design we're gonna 
you know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm really gonna try my hardest to make this tunnel look like an abandoned, um, you know, underground sewer of some sort. I think that would be really cool. Um, I know it's gonna take some time, but it, I think at the end it'll be a really cool end result. Uh, why are there wa walkers? No. Okay, so they're spawning like ridiculous here. Um, I don't know why that's happening, but I don't like it. I don't want it to happen anymore, so stop. Okay, that was pretty scary. I didn't want to get infected, but I do have an RBI cure. So we're actually not in bad shape, but I don't want to waste them, if you know what I mean. They're really difficult to find. So I'm just really thrilled that this has worked out just perfect. It's a perfect destination, and we pretty much have the prison cell connected. So that's huge, because if you think about it, we just expanded just another Wow, there's a lot of walkers. I just realized if you go out a certain distance, you have walkers spawning all over the place, which is not a good thing for us. So maybe Andrew's going to work on that. I'm not sure. What's this? Another melee weapon. We'll take it. I'm like, oh, it's a machete. It's not a Bowie knife. No wonder it's doing so good for me. I was wondering why that was like actually doing a good job. Oh my gosh. We're just so many walkers are being attracted here. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much close to ending off today's episode. Oh, yes. We got a weapon, guys. Oh, this is perfect. I think we have ammo for this too. I'm not sure. Oh, we got no ammo for this right now, but this is the first actual, like, big gun that we have that we can use if we need it for emergencies. Now, I gotta see if we have ammo. We got cereal. That's always a good thing. I don't think we have any milk, though, but we can still eat it plain. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go see. I'm pretty sure we still have some ammo clips here. Uh, a stang. Yeah, we do. Oh, this is fan. Look at this, guys. Ready for this moment of truth? How cool is that, guys? We got 30... We, we pretty much have one clip, which is not a lot, but that's not bad at all for 30 rounds. And plus, these guys are going to be much easier uh, to attract if we shoot a bullet now. So I don't want to test it out completely, but I did do an episode uh, one of season two. I talked about slightly like what are, like what some of the updates. I kind of went creative and showed the updates. So if you guys want to see that, then yeah. But once we add a silencer to this, it'll be really awesome because now we actually have bullets and we're going to keep this on our back we're just going to store it on our back like that how cool that's just fantastic it looks good um i feel much safer for emergencies so that is a big relief because we needed to find some ammo and some weapons to have because we're really running low on you know we really don't have much in general so yeah this is always good what's this another hard hat i don't really need this i don't really get the point of the hard hats i guess it's just a design feature but that's cool hey look at this guys another gun no ammo, though. Um, definitely cool to have. That's another one we'll add to our stock inventory. Um, what else is around here? I think that's pretty much it. We're going to check the prison, um, and then we're pretty much going to come to an end with today's episode. We got a lot done, so I'm just really happy that um, it worked out well, and things went smoothly. There wasn't much um, disturbance, and also, we got to breed the cows a bit. Every episode, we got to work on that. A lot of you guys said you didn't mind this. Some of you guys didn't like it, but... It's gonna stay for now. I can't do much about it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna stay like that for now. Um, over here, I actually put a chest for all the wheat for them cows here. There we go. All right, cows, let's go. One for you, one for you. All right, we're making food. We got plenty of food. Um, it's definitely good to have cows. Um, next, uh, you know, good thing is probably maybe chickens or something like that. But we're doing good so far. This is it's not bad at all. Okay, any of you guys? No, we're good. Okay, sweet. Awesome. So let's store that in there. And hopefully when we get enough cows, we can start, you know, getting some more food. That would be fantastic. Oh, we need some water. Let's drink some water. Oh, and also the trees. Forgot about that. Let's let's uh, quickly, actually, we're kind of at the end of the episode. But uh, I think we'll hold that off for um, episode six, working on the farm a bit. Because as you can see, we're getting kind of attacked from all, all over the place. There's so many walkers in here. But I'm a pro right now. Like, there's no one, no one can stop me right now. I've kind of adjusted to the aftermath. I feel much more comfortable running around now, so it's a great feeling. Hey, some more weapons. A rag. Hey, that's weird that the rag does that. Oh, I guess I just don't have any more space. No, that's weird. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, oh, no. I, I don't know what's up with that, though. Uh, let's throw away... Let's just drink a juice pouch and then throw that out. And, hey, look. We got a walker trapped in there. That's not bad. All right. we got. No, we need the machete, guys. We need the machete. Give me the machete. There we go. Look at this. We got a walker in there. That's pretty cool. Is there two? No, there's one. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's check the upstairs. I believe there should be a few supplies down in here. What is this? Oh, my goodness. All right, this is fantastic. We're actually getting weapons in here. 
Oh gosh, this is great. All right, we got a sporter. I don't believe we have any sporter clips, but um, it, it's progress for sure. I'll tell you that much. Now we've got plenty of trees here, uh, which is also great to see. Um, I don't have an axe on me, but the idea is we're going to pretty much plant them all over here. That's the goal for next episode, guys. So stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys all hit that like button. Um, I appreciate all the support as always, guys. Uh, but if you guys want to see more, make sure you guys hit that like button. Let me know in the comment sections. What do you guys think we should do with that extra building over there? And what about that underground little tunnel section? Uh, I would love to see what you guys have to say. The comment that gets the decider or the, the winning decide, the, <laughs> decision will have his comment popped up on the screen. So make sure you guys think of some cool ideas because I would love to see what you guys have in mind. Oh my goodness, we got another party down here. All right, we're going to block this off because I feel like they're getting smart and they're thinking, hey, we can definitely spawn through here, but not anymore. So we're going to block that off. Other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to eat my MRE. Peace out and stay foxy.